What are you doing here, man? Ain't you afraid of the height? Nah, no bad vibes here, man. Just getting ready to take a good old deep dive into Omni Reference. I recently received a request from India to create a step-by-step -step guide on omni-reference, entirely in Hindi. And of course, I want to share this with you in English as well. If you really want to get the best out of Midjourney's omni-reference, there are a few key settings and parameters you need to know and use correctly. Think of omni-reference as a system that says, place this into my image. It can work for characters, objects, vehicles, or non-human creatures. For this tutorial, I've divided everything into clear sections. First, we'll look at some practical examples. Then the steps to create a video. We'll check which images work well and which don't. Next, how to activate omni-reference in the first place. We'll explore which parameter helps you fine-tune results. Can you use other features with it? We'll also see why it sometimes doesn't work at all and what to do if it only works halfway. Let me first show you a few examples before we dive deeper into the topic. The text in each example is kept short, focusing on key aspects like the type of image, whether it's a photo, a studio shot, or an illustration, as well as the clothing, the environment, and the lighting. In the bottom right corner, you'll always see the reference image I used for omni-reference. For these examples, I used this older man with a white beard. You'll see him styled in fashion photography with a blue raincoat set in Iceland, Ireland, and the Himalayas. By the way, the omni weight varies in these examples between 40 and 200, depending on the look I wanted. You can adjust this freely, and I'll explain more about omni weight later. Here you can see how it works with a black and white line drawing. Of course, you can also draw inspiration from movies. Just use the prompt video frame grab in the style of a specific film. How about trying it with a Viking? Here's the result. It doesn't matter if you want an extreme close-up, a medium shot, or a full body shot. You can see here that it all works perfectly fine. And remember, omni-reference isn't only about focusing on people. You can also use it with objects, like in this example here with a sports car. The omni-reference in this case is the vehicle shown in the bottom right corner. Once you've found an image you like, like this one here, which I'm quite happy with, think two steps ahead and turn it into a short video using Animate Image. If you want it a bit longer than five seconds, just keep clicking Extend. The text input is incredibly powerful, and Midjourney follows what you type in very closely. So those were the practical examples, but how do we actually get there? First, you need to choose a suitable image, either generated by AI or a real photo that you've uploaded to Midjourney. I've put together a quick overview for you showing which types of images tend to work better. Try to use an image that clearly shows you, similar to a passport photo, without any distracting background. Illustrations work too, and as you've seen, objects can also be used. Avoid extreme close-ups or images where you're barely visible, as Midjourney will have to guess what's there, which doesn't help with clean results. It's also not a good idea to use a photo with multiple people in it as Midjourney won't know which person you want as the reference. If you really want to use an image like that, simply open it in an editing program and erase the other people before uploading. How do you actually activate Omni Reference? Just go to the Create section in Midjourney and drag your chosen image into the box on the right. It's really that simple. Which parameter helps with fine tuning? I've prepared a few examples for you here. In the top left, you'll see the reference image I dragged into the selection box on the right. The text prompt says, an ancient king of the Gupta dynasty. This prompt is then extended with the parameter omniweight. To use it, simply add dash dash o w, followed by a number of your choice at the end of your prompt. You can choose any number between one and 1000. This chart here shows what different values will do. In short, the higher the omni weight, the more modern the image will look. The face generally remains consistent, but at lower values, you can clearly see stronger historical influences in the results. Can you combine other features with omni reference? Yes, you can. 
In this example, I added the robot image in the top left as a style reference. And once again, you'll notice the same pattern as before. The higher the omni weight, the more modern the look and feel of the image. Here too, the prompt was, an ancient king of the Gupta dynasty, dash dash o w space 200. Why does it sometimes fail and what can you do about it? In this example, I used my face as a reference and added the text, blackmail model. As you can see, Midjourney ignores the Omni reference and replaces it with a person of color instead. When I changed the text to male model, removing the skin color reference, it works. But even then I wasn't fully satisfied. If that happens, simply hover over your preferred image and click V subtle. This tells Midjourney, I'm generally okay with this, but please check my face again. As you can see here, it worked quite well. What if it only works halfway? Trust me, you'll need a bit of patience here. In all the images you see on screen, the text and the omni weight were exactly the same. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't work perfectly the first time. Just hit rerun and let it generate again. If you want, you can adjust the omni weight value a bit, but you will eventually get an image you like. You might want to test it with something other than your own face first, since we can be a bit too sensitive when it comes to our own appearance. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.